So this is a 16 player single elimination bracket, just as with all of our other brackets here in Classic Touches Monthly, including the Masters, Challengers, Events, all, all that stuff. It's all 16 player, it's all single elimination. Today, we are showcasing our players in the green bracket, playing our round of 16 and round of eight matchups. So of course, we're gonna get up first, Doge versus Boxy, followed by Smooth versus Longboy. Of course, Doge, kind of one of the favorites here to win this tournament, but you know, this is why we play the games, right? We play the games, you never know anything could happen, right? I have seen some crazy things happen in Tetris, and I think it's gonna be a really exciting day. Of course, once we get our two winners, they're gonna face off, and that is how we are going to determine our second semi-finalist for this month's tournament. We begin the green bracket of Future Circuit, June 2022, in three, two, one, Tetris. And of course, oh look at that, Simul start. Love seeing that. Not every day you get to see that with the restreaming online. All right, a little more common with Max Out Club, but with the restreams, yeah, there's usually that difference, right? There's the difference in <laughs> in the delay that you know everyone's getting from me. So that was cool. I like that. But of course, we're getting underway. Again, been a very exciting day. Very exciting stuff. You know, Doge, as I was kind of mentioning earlier, I feel like is probably seen as one of the favorites to win this whole tournament. And we'll certainly be looking to get himself in position to do that by the end of the day, by making the top four. But, although, hold on, Boxy. Let me just hold that thought for a minute, because Boxy is in some trouble here. Did he get anything right? Oh, no! Oh, not like this! An early top from Boxy in game one there, 47,000. That'll be it. Doge is good, we'll take the first game. Oh, my word. Of course, warm-up is done, as our good friend Martz would say. That's what game one is for. <laughs> Take the hair out of your eyes. Oh, goodness. All right. <laughs> we got two ready. So let's count it down. Game number two. We begin this one in three, two, one. Tetris. Should go bald. I will say, I do I do have a, I do have a couple buddies that are bald themselves that uh seem to enjoy that. Do seem to you know like being without hair because it's uh you know for them it's like oh this is one less responsibility. Speaking of responsibilities, okay, yep, Boxy now aware the capture curve is having issues, getting that all fixed up. And okay, can go ahead and continue on. All right, but as I was saying, I mean, you know, Doge kind of looked at as probably a fa one of the favorites to win the tournament. And, you know, but Boxy, though, you know, I mean, I say after an early top out of game one, but I mean, even so, I mean, at least from what I have seen when, you know, calling action with him on Tetris Friendlies, he has been lights out lately. So certainly going to be one to look out for. Maybe it's a dark horse here to move on, move on to our top four. I mean, who knows? I think any of our four players here today could do it. I mean, most recently, when I had restreamed him, he got his first back-to-back -back max out in competition. So certainly, again, he certainly could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of the best on a good day. So, and we'll see how today goes for him, of course, and for the rest of our players. Right now, we get a score of 141 for Doge, 124 for Boxy here. Boxy's now in a little bit of a mess. Just having to bring that down there with a the long bar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was not actually an early top out game. <laughs> yeah, the capture card. The capture card deceived all of us. That's what really happened.
All right, touches for Doge. He'll go to 234. He's about 11, or not 11 lines, that's all right, eight lines ahead. Now only three lines ahead as Boxy gets to Tetris, so. 234 Doge, 178 for Boxy. We are at the same line count now. Yeah, right, yeah, probably need to host that, uh, yeah, that game show since he's able to, he is a max out now, right? Yeah, he doesn't want to be a max out now, he just is. All right, so again, nice tight game here. And we're about 60 lines through here. 282 to 228 here. Doge still with the lead. And, you know, again, it's nice tight game. They're just kind of trading touches back and forth right now. Yeah, seriously, nice clean boards here all around. And of course, again, it is a 1-0 lead here for Doge after an unfortunate early top of a Do or sorry, Voxy here. Certainly has kept together here. You know, it's doing pretty well. This one a little bit further behind, or actually, well, it's about the same, about the same score differential. Of course, everyone asking, when is Craig Tucker playing? I don't know, man. Not today. I'll tell you that much. All right, Bank Tetris Boxy goes a 390, 426 for Doge. We are both at about 90 lines. So Boxy's actually closed this gap a little bit here. And Doge just rolling along here. And again, transitions are coming up here, about 35 lines to go. Doge continues to hold on to a slight lead here. Of course, Hana here asking, why was Todd Todger's qual rejected? Well, had to check the qual check his staff. Uh, that would be, that would be their department. Yeah, take that up with, like, Foiled and, uh, Zar Jordan and all those folks. But, Simultetris here. We got 47 Boxy through 113, 543 for Doge through 115. So yeah, it's about a two Tetris spread still. And looks like, looking like, barring some catastrophe from either player, looking like it's gonna stay that way here as we go into transition. As we got another Tetris for both here. And actually, really, it's probably more, more like Tetris than a half difference here. Boxy bringing this right back. There's just a couple lines left to go, but Doge will transition 615. So off he runs. Boxy with five lines to go. And now with one line to go, one more touch is available, so is he can get this. Oh, nope, never mind. Has to take a burn, but 579, his score transition, very respectable. And Doge's board, actually, not the cleanest here. Had a couple of misdrops on the left while I was watching Boxy transition. So this is Boxy's chance to catch up here. And he's set up. Right on that bar is Boxy here. Takes a quick burn. Has to take a triple again. He's playing Das, so is not able to necessarily build up as high as some of our other players. But Bang Tetris, 616 to 633. Boxy behind in lines as well. Oh my god, and Bang Tetris. Boxy's gonna take the lead momentarily here. Doge has been digging all of transition. Finally gets a Tetris. Take that lead right back here. 668. At a Tetris, 695, 647 for Boxy, now having to take some burns of his own. And just, I mean, seriously, Boxy's DAS control is like, it's been on another level lately, man, I tell ya. And Doge with another few misdrops here is in a dig again. Not quite as bad as the last time, I'm gonna get this reopened pretty quick. 
Boxy has closed the gap though. 7 11. So he makes that quick stop for coffee. Bang Tetris, 740. 759 for Doge. And a Tetris, 789. He's eight lines ahead though. All right, another Tetris for both. Boxy just hanging right in there, but that Z not going to be helpful for him. Quick burns, and his board is reopened for business. Doge with a Tetris here under level 25, 851 to 806 here for Boxy, who again is a few lines back. But the what? Oh, Doge with a double flip. He can probably survive this. But that is a nasty misdrop. Gonna cause quite a few burns. Dirty Tetris here from Doge. And he, he's smiling about that. He knows he just got away with one there. Another Tetris. 958 on level 27. Boxy at 849, level 26. Has to take a couple quick burns. All right, we're approaching that level 29 here, and Doge most certainly has the advantage there, but Boxy gonna hang a long bar on that right side. May have built a little too high, and that's gonna be it. 852 is final score. A commendable effort, but that max out from Doge gonna give him the 2-0 lead. And we'll likely keep going a little bit here. He's on 29 with a 1.1. Wow, it was looking like he might top out, but... Ah, who am I kidding? It's Doge, man. I mean, look at this. Setting up for Tetrises. I mean, he's... Wow. Textbook. Textbook 29 play right there. All right, 1.2. All right, Bang Tetris, he's still going. Yeah, futures in 2022, everybody. <laughs> oh my God. All right, 1.3, he's still going. You notice that left side's a little rough. Oh no! <laughs> it resets it at 1.3. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Unfortunate way to end there, man. But either way, excellent games from both there. <laughs> the reset. <laughs> yeah, it was going for that 1.4. Maybe beyond that, even. All right. <laughs> yeah, right, no cheese. Yeah, we could talk a bit about that, too. That actually, that leads me to another topic here. Yes, it does. Um, so thank you, Doge, for the delayed segue. Uh, <laughs> but of course, he's also ready to go. Once we have a... Ready here from Boxy. Looks like he's fixing up the capture card again. He's been having issues with it all day so far. Coach got one point. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh, my word. But either way, we got two readies. Let's count it down. Game number three. It's game point here for Doge. We begin in three, two, one. Tetris. All right, and of course coming up next is it is game point will be smooth motion and long boy So hopefully they are ready to go <laughs> Yeah, of course Doge got a 1.3 and still managed to qual lower than me. How? how? <laughs> of course 800k second game. I didn't think it was that dra at 800k with that drastically change the uh you know what i mean that drastically lower the average so just you know sometimes consistency is key i guess right for me at least that is a for me you know my month that is a we take those moment
But either way, got ourselves a nice game going here so far. The Doge with a misdrop of the T. See how he handles this. Oh, look at that. The Vitz. Was a success. Bring this back down to safety. Look at that. Two burns. Like, that's all it took. Two burns. Maybe it was three. I don't actually remember. But two burns, basically. That's all it took. And he is going to have the lead right now. 102 to 83,000. Boxy. With some Swiss cheese action going on over here. So he's looking to get this resolved. That L going to help. And man, probably would have preferred a T there over the Z, but Z does have to work. And interesting little Z tuck there, actually. Oh, actually, hold up. That was actually a really good move there. I like that. Did not work out the way I expected that was going to, but hey. Take those. He's falling further behind, though, in points now because of all this burning. Doge has opened up about an 80,000 point lead at a Tetris. Bring that to about a hundred thousand point lead. Boxy is just needing a long bar. Finally, it shows. There's the Tetris. But of course, Doge mentioning, you know, he's no cheese, right? As far as kill screen is concerned. But speaking of cheese, those who are looking to watch some more futures circuit action. Speaking of people that somehow did worse than yours truly, uh, cheese among those. So he'll be playing this Wednesday in the Future Circuit Blue Bracket. Also hosted by yours truly. That'll be fun to watch. Of course, she's another player that is among the favorites to win for this month, I would say, at least as far as speculation is concerned. And she's is the 13th seed, I believe. I believe it was 13. It was like 12 or 13 or something like that. Yeah, I think it was 13. But yeah, certainly would be a fun finale if it did end up being Cheese and Doge. But speaking of Doge, he is in a bit of trouble here. Oh, that Z! Oh, he can't believe it. It was not where that Z was supposed to go, and he knows it. That long bar coming a piece too late as well, so was not able to take that Tetris for some relief in his board. But it's going to take a couple nice burns. There's a long bar. There's a Tetris. And a double with the S is going to get this all cleaned up. So six, or sorry, 346. I don't know why I almost said six. <laughs> and no one can score that efficiently. All right, 370 for Doge, 393 lines, 273 for Boxy through 91. So again, still about a 100,000 point difference on account of the burning from Boxy earlier on. All right, Bank Tetris, three hundo here for Boxy. As we are approaching that 19 transition, we'll see the speed increase in just about 30 lines for both players. So yeah, some pretty clean boards all around. Boxy forced into a triple there. Kind of, you see, he kind of was shaking his head there. Is he? He knows he's behind, and he knows it's game point, and certainly not the position he wanted to find himself in, but again, that's why we play the game. You know, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Fortunately, early shifting that S piece, though. Fortunately, the bad is also included in anything can happen. As we are approaching transition in just a few lines here, about 10 lines to go before we cross over to that 19 speed. And of course, I will take this moment here to uh, give Burp semi a reminder to stay hydrated. It helps you all stay healthy, it is both physically and mentally. It's very important. Arguably more important than Tetris. <sighs> Perfect. Perfect timing. Moxie's transition, 376. And Doge as well at 578. Some burns required here on Boxy's side. Certainly suffering a little bit more than he'd like. 
And there we go. Yeah, Boxy gonna get that L piece there for the right side. And it's just not getting what he needs for the left now. As Doge is looking to run away with it here. He's at 677 here through the same line count as Boxy. He's at 393. Almost a 300,000 point spread now. Oh, good. yeah, right. Yeah, they had to. <laughs> yeah, CTM had to. Yeah, had to buy out King tonight. Yeah. Oh goodness, Boxy is just setting up the center. Well, Bang Tetris finally at four thirty-five here, seven forty-five here for Doge. Doge just going to just stay alive at this point. He is very far ahead in points. Has a cleaner board. But it's showing no signs of let up actually. Bank Tetris, 778. But now he's gonna have to take a few burns here. It's getting a little dicey actually. But look at that, just flick of the wrist. And it's all good. Another Tetris, 814, and another one here. Certainly on pace to max out. Boxy just looking to slam him down, just full sending at this point. He is running out of time here to catch up. Another Tetris, 511 to 874. Oh, Boxy with a nice quick tap. Oh, the square burst at the worst possible time. And Boxy going to be finished at 511. And Doge at 910. Looking to maybe actually get that PB this time. He's going to take it 3 0. So, to those who predicted that, those who predicted 3 0, congratulations. Channel points coming your way. So, we'll let Doge, of course, play this out because why the heck not? It's the last game of the set. As he has maxed out here, level 27. I think slightly earlier than last time. And I will, while he's doing that, I will go ahead and report the results. And, oh, he's topped out. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> that was, I, that was going to work out so nicely. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. Submit. Better move quick here then. All right. There we go. That has been submitted. So let's go ahead to our brackets. And nobody look for a quick second. And there we go. All right. So moving on to our next round, it is Doge. So of course, stick around as always. We are going to do the top eight match tonight as well. So, all right. So it looks like both of our players are ready to go. So let's go ahead, let's count them down. Game number one in this octafinal matchup begins in three, two, one. Tetris. Of course, Long Boy rolling the ready button. Nice, yeah. This fighting is not very efficient. Coming in at a whopping 30 readies per second. All right, I could just I could just hear like you know, now that I really think about it, I can just hear like King or someone making some promo like that, right? Like <laughs> I don't know. I could I could just I could picture it in my head. But either way, a couple good boards here to start for the most part. Although now long boy, as soon as I say that, I'm going to take a couple quick burns. But should be no problem. Should be no problem. And there we go. Yeah, a couple clean boards now. Long boy with a line dependency. Going to plug that with the J. All right, bank Tetris for Long Boy. Now it's a hole towards the bottom resolve, but actually gotta fix the stencil a little bit as well. Looks like it is slightly off. Other way. There we go. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that bot command is very real. 
And of course, uh, hold on, before I even say that, uh, Smooth is actually in a bit of trouble. They need to reopen that long bar dependency, which they have. Oh, getting that L all the way left. Yeah, this board is getting a little dicey here for Smooth. But getting that square. Oh, look at Smooth go! Just making bowl after bowl, eating it all up. It's just in need of a long bar. Comes a piece too late. It's got it opening in. There's a long bar down the middle for some relief. But unfortunately, it had to plug up the well on the right side. Just a massive dig over here. Oh my goodness. And look at this. This game's just like. Nah, dude. Getting right back into it. As they just barely get that S piece over. Alright, just one more burn. We'll open things up. Give them the bar, man! My god! This game is just not cooperating. Finally, he's got a clean board. And guess what? This long bar just is not coming for Smooth. And there's a long bar for the score, finally, for Smooth. Oh my word. And another one here. So they're going to go to 184, having an absolute suffer here in this first game. Longboy, meanwhile, not the cleanest of boards either. He's kind of shaking his head. He's not too happy with it, but hey, he's got the lead. 226 here for Longboy. 207 for Smooth. So, I mean, in spite of all that, Smooth is actually not that far behind. And it's actually brought this back to be a neck and neck game. In spite of all that. I mean, that. That's why I don't give up? Right? That's why I don't give up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Smooth is some survival skill, dude. Yeah. They're killing it. And so of course, with all that being said, we got transitions coming up here, about 30 lines for both players. 299 for Smooth, Tetris for Longboy, he'll go to 305, so we are, again, neck and neck in spite of all the digging. I mean, both players have struggled a little bit here in this one. Yeah, it definitely was a Tommy moment. Nothing else says, oh, hug boy! <laughs> Got the friggin' JD spin, I think it was. He is amped up. <laughs> Just kind of went for it, and it's like, oh, it worked, okay. <laughs> Not happy about that. I would be too, if I could actually hit one, so. All right, that's why, that's why these guys are playing and not me, right? I, they can do all this crazy stuff. All right, bank Tetris for Longboy. Got just a few lines to go till transition. Smooth motion is there at 383 behind in points. So certainly they'll be looking to up the pace here. Oh, the Longboy with a not so ideal board, to put it lightly. A pretty high here. We're about to transition one line. We'll send him there. There it is, right there. 425, the score transition. No, he's still ahead in points here. Oh, but that S get a missed drop on the left side. Let's see if he can dig his way out of this. That'd be tough, but... Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, the long run. I was going to say, those L's were coming at great times, but... Unfortunately, not going to survive. Smooth just needs a couple thousand more points. He's 429. So, small chase down at hand here. And they've got a very clean board. So one more burn, there it is! Smooth motion, we'll take this one and take the one nothing lead. I'm telling you, resilience paying off there in that one. And what was a rough game on both sides.
All right, we have 30 readies a second here from Longboy, and there it is, the ready from Smooth as well. So let's go ahead, count this one down. Game number two, we begin this one in three, two, one, Tetris. All right, we are underway. I mean, that was a crazy game there from start to finish, of course. You know, just an absolute suffer. Both players were just, felt like we're digging the whole 18 portion of the game. You know, and of course, Smooth got in, particularly got into quite a bit of trouble there, but able to pull it off, was able to have a better board going into transition, and that ultimately, I would say, is what won them the game. Uh, right now, Longboy's certainly going to be looking to Turn the tides here, game number two. He's got the one Tetris lead right now as we begin. But, I mean, honestly, you know, when games are close like that, I mean, I, I don't care, you know, how good the scores are. If it's a close game like that, that's, you know, that's good stuff. Definitely stuff I like to see, which... I am excited to say I'll be getting the chance to see at this year's CTWC, so hopefully it'd be cool if both of these guys can make it there, because, you know. You know, and by make it there, I mean physically, right? Physically make it there. Right? What happens beyond that is, uh, well, that's up to them, but... But I, I, for one, yeah, like I said, I just booked my flight and everything just the other night, so I am excited to say I am going, so I will officially be there. But right now, oh, Longboy, though. He might be in top out city shortly if he's not careful. But nice dirty Tetris from Longboy. Way up high. Gonna keep him in this one for at least a little while longer. But look at this. Nice burns. Longbar gonna help there. And another one. Bang Tetris. 157 to 197. Smooth with the lead. So we're about to hit 50 lines here in this one. Yeah, side station 17. Yeah, exactly. God, I hope there's that many side stations. That'd be ridiculous, but awesome. Like, <laughs> be really cool. Of course, Quinn Culver is here asking, Aloha, when is Masters Blue happening? Oh, let me actually take a look at our schedule on our Discord. Of course, you can join that at ctm.gg slash Discord with, or with the Discord command. But, of course, to answer your question, it is tomorrow. It is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. UTC. So that is when you can expect the Masters event blue bracket. And, of course, that will be hosted by Sharky. So certainly... Don't bring all the hype, I can tell you that much. That'll be very exciting. Yeah, dude, there's Discord. I say as I'm not even in it. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, quick score check here for these two players. As of course, we can kind of ramble about bears and stuff. As, oh, hold on. Longboy's in trouble. Oh, hold up. Longboy needs a bar. It's not coming, but it's finding some good alternate burns here. Nice tuck of the LPs on the right. But this board is falling apart. That T is probably going to do him in, and it will. At 290 score, that'll be the final score. And at 345, smooth motion, we'll take the 2-0 lead. Yeah, what am I doing? Oh, goodness. All right. Smooth try... <laughs> smooth try to match Logboy in... Readies for second. <laughs> oh, goodness. We got two readies. 
Or well, more like 60. So let's count it down. Game three. We get this done here. Three, two, one. Tetris. Smooth. Hoping to finish it. Long boy. Hoping to push us to a game four. <laughs> Slight misdrop to start, of course, but. A okay here. Some great. Look at that. Great burns to see. You're good. All good. Yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, you're all good. <laughs> oh, goodness. And of course. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention, because I, uh, I think I was going to earlier and then got distracted by uh, someone up very high digging. Uh, of course, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, why not catch us live, right? If you want to know, you know, we're kind of, you know, talking to chat, all that good stuff. You probably, you know, might be wondering what on earth is Burb talking about? Well, if you want to know, of course, come catch us live sometime. Twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. As you can see there on the bottom bar now. And of course, we would love to have you. Love to have you come hang out and join in on the fun. And of course, thank you to Ryan Hamburgy with the 10 bits. I believe he had something to say about that. Yes, one for every letter in Burb Wizard. Love it. And of course, to Holly Mortal, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome aboard! Of course, we appreciate all the support from everyone here at Monthly Touches, of course. All the... We call it, you know, the bits, the subscribers, right? All that good stuff. That... That does all... Does all go towards helping our streamers here at Monthly Touches. Of course, yours truly included there, so of course... I do have a personal stake in that appreciation, but hey, hey, you know, it helps all of us here out a little bit, so. It also helps our events run, so. And it is much appreciated, so we appreciate everyone that does that. I also appreciate that both of our players here staying alive while I'm rambling about all that nonsense. As smooth is. Okay. Oh, no, did not decide to tuck that J. Thought they were going to, but. Either way, bringing this board back down to safety. The maximum yoink. Yup. Exactly. Alright, so quick score check here. 157 for Smooth. 263 for Long Boys. Well, this is definitely the kind of game he was looking to have after a couple of rough ones there. Again, looking to maybe turn the tides, maybe. Pull off a reverse sweep here. Certainly, he would like to see that happen. So, he is doing a good job of that. About an 80,000 point lead. But right now, smooth with the cleaner board and is going to certainly threatening to start closing the gap with another Tetris there. 251 through 76 lines. 289 for Longboy through 67 lines. And, oh, nice adjustment with a Z from Longboy. There's a Lombard. There's a Tetris for the reward. An excellent job getting out of that one. All right, bank Tetris for both. It's about a three-line spread. Longboy still with about a two Tetris lead on the real-time score. But again, smooth motion, slightly ahead in lines. So they... Don't have quite as much time to work with before we hit that level 29. Now again, players nowadays are able to play on that level 29 a little bit, but... And I'm actually not sure about whether these two players can or not. I'm sure they can. At least a little bit, but... We'll have to find out. Hopefully we can find out. We can get there, right? We can find out. Alright, so we are... About 100 lines in this one, which means we got about 30 lines to go till we transition to level 19. Scores 352 for smooth motion, 437 for long boy. Alright, bang Tetris for smooth. 
and they are kind of pushing down a little bit from time to time. You can see that those last two digits are increasing in value there. So that is allowing them to be further ahead in lines. And Longboy actually in the lead here still. So he's going to get another Tetris here. 490 to 406. So smooth about the transition. Just about two Tetris is here. Now one Tetris. We got Honey Mustard uh, underscore. Thank you for the follow. All right. As we are at 455 for smooth. Add a Tetris. 479. You're on level 19. Longboy already has surpassed 500,000. Still has one more Tetris available and is going to get it. So 560 here into 19 for Longboy. And yeah, I did learn that who uh, who Adam Vicious is. I guess I should have figured by the name, but I'm like, and like as soon as as soon as you guys told me that that was Devil, I'm like, oh, of course it is. Like, <laughs> oh, meanwhile, smooth. Oh, gets a long bar for the Tetris. Okay, it was looking. That board was looking a little dicey, but smooth is gonna be a okay here. They're at 540, 613 for Longboy, and he's about 10 lines back. All right, bang Tetris Longboy. He's got a cleaner board here. But Smooth's gonna get a dirty one up on row two, three, whatever that was. I didn't quite count that. I can barely count to four, so. What a shock, right? Tetris player that can't count to four. But oh, Longboy, what a true shock here. And he's gonna top out at 644. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see what happened. I was watching Smooth. So Smooth, you got a chase down here. You need 645 to move on to the next round. You see, they're going to take their time here. Trying to keep this low. I mean, oh, this piece is not that great, but it's finding nice creative ways out of this dig here. Again, he's about 20,000 more points, so one Tetris will do it if they can get this set up. If I don't want to take a triple, just again, keep it safe. They don't have that right side open for business. It's all closed up, and looks like they're just going to line it out. You need 5,000 more points. All right, and there it is. Smooth going to complete this one in a sweep as well. And is moving on to the next round to take on Doge. Look at that. All right, you can play this out, my friend, if you wish. I'm going to go ahead and report this. All right, that was 3 0. What was that score? Monthly Tetris, submit. Yes, please submit. All right, so we head over to our bracket here. Of course, congratulations to Smooth for moving on. We're going to refresh that. And there we go. So our quarterfinal matchup is set. It's going to be Doge and Smooth. Two readies. So let's count it down. Game number one of this quarterfinal match begins in three, two, one. Tetris. And oh my word. Thousand bits from dog watching at Tetris. Not to be confused with the world champ. Of course, thank you so much for supporting us here at Monthly Tetris. That is much, much appreciated. And of course, Disdain Slow as well with the bits. And it being a hundred bits. Or no, sorry, 10 bits with the two zeros at the end. I was reading the wrong one because Pumpy has donated 100 bits. So, yeah, again, thank you for that, of course. Pumpy bringing money to himself, right? It's one of the admins. <laughs> but 
but either way, we are off and running here in game number one of this quarterfinal match. We got a score of 115 for Smooth. 95,000 here for Doge, so slight lead for Smooth as they get a nice center well Tetris over in column three. But smooth, I mean, they just seem to be kind of setting up these wells wherever they wish. The game decides to get complicated, they're like, alright, I'll just make a well here. They're just going to continue with this column three setup. But meanwhile, Doge not having the best time either, having to make a few holes, but reopen the right side. So certainly, could be in a little better shape, but he is at 167, 149 for smooth. And let me actually fix something here on my end. Is that. There we go. Just kind of bring that over. Yeah, a little scuffed, but that's okay. Figured people would like this. All right, and look at this. Smooth continuing to go with that column three. Bang Tetris. 219. 353 lines. 235. 235, excuse me, for Doge through 50 lines. And yeah, that's right. Sometimes Dan Weller gets paid. Sometimes. Not officially on the payroll, of course. But Bank Tetris here for Smooth. And they seem to be pretty comfortable with that column three setup, but now they're going to go ahead, reopen the right side. They're down by about a Tetris and ahead in lines on account of the pushing down. Something that actually seemed to work in the last set. But of course, Doge certainly gonna be a tough task. He is about two Tetrises ahead. All right, so again, we got two clean boards now, and you know, of course, this is... Winner of this certainly will have a chance to play some elite level player. I mean, again, it's only future circuit, but obviously Doge being here says, I think, a lot about how, you know, how much wider the talent pool here, the, how much wider the talent pool is here at Classic Tetris nowadays. If I could speak today, that would be awesome. <laughs> All right, that's kind of a basic requirement to be doing this, but I cannot even seem to do that today. But that's okay. It's okay. We're getting through this. All right. It's really just a testament to how much the talent has improved here, is all I was trying to say. You know, at the end, see people like Cheese in Futures? Like, you know, these are people you could typically see in, like, the Masters event, you know, that are here, right? Like... So yeah, certainly no shame nowadays being the future circuit, you know, not that there ever was per se, but certainly a lot tougher now to even get in here. So again, props to all of our players who have played today for getting here. As we got transition coming up, touches for Doge, 514. There's a few lines behind Smooth, who is at 462. And yeah, that's exactly it too, yeah. Two... CTWC top eight level players. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, the Obama medal. Yep. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. You got me. But meanwhile, smooth. This board might have got them here. They are up very high. Hey, that right side looking a little messy. He's a long bar, gets the long bar down the right. And he's gonna transition with a very high board. Let's see if this is diggable here for Smooth. Just flinging pieces left and right. No, cannot get the J over to the left. Oh no. 501 the final score, and Doge is 611. Not even a transition. Gonna be good. We'll take the one nothing lead.
All right, they've shaken it off quick. They're ready to go. And Doge ready as well, so let's count it down. Game number two, we begin in three, two, one. Tetris. So game number two underway. Slight complication here on Smooth's board to start out. But looking like they're gonna get out of this pretty quickly though. Surprised not to see them put the L piece in that dependency on the left side. Now they're gonna fill it in. So let's see how they decide to handle this board right now. Is they've got a lot of Garbage on the right side. We'll see if they decide to burn this all down or set up something unconventional It looks like the ladder is what they're gonna go with but fortunately long bar coming a bit too early So going to take just a triple only get that well back over on the right side. So 24,000 added Tetris 47,000 here through 23 lines 94,000 here for Doge course again it was kind of a rough board from smooth they're going into transition the last game they seem to be keeping it considerably cleaner I mean the beginning of the game was a little rough but since then since then I really dig they're been pretty good now and this time actually it's doge that's in a little bit of trouble here I mean I say that but I say that but at the same time certainly <laughs> Was able to get out of it quick, right? Like, I, I've lost my train of thought because I was just so mesmerized by how easily he was able to get out of that. But, did not take Tetris there, actually. He was going to go ahead and fill in that dependency before going for the Tetris, which worked out well in his case. Going to get 182 there, 170 for Smooth. So, Smooth certainly still in this one. But unfortunately, with a couple of holes, and with that, it was a good J burn though to reopen some things. Although, is not it's just not getting what they want here to bring this all the way down, or even just get a dirty Tetris here. They're gonna go for it. They're set up, and there's a nice long bar for the dirty Tetris for smooth, and another one. So there go the two. They will go to 223 here, 274. For Doge. Doge, of course, still with the cleaner board. Those dirty is gonna help smooth. In the long run here, catch up. Look at this. They're gonna go for another one here on the left side. But guess what? Spar ain't coming. Has to take a quick double and a single. There's Lumbar. There's the Tetris. Finally. And it looks like they will stick with this row two left well Tetris. They're gonna keep going with it. As they are within about a Tetris and a half here. Actually, probably more like two Tetrises. Yeah, it's more like two Tetrises. All right, bang Tetris for Doge. All right, 85 lines apiece. It's at 346, 297, add a Tetris, go to 320 for Smooth. And now it looks like Smooth will either well, there's a couple of wells that they could go with. I mean, they've been playing some Tetris Bingo, making you know, making Orlando's whole shtick look effortless. And yeah, that was that was some good recovery. I mean, we've seen some crazy ones from Doge too. I mean, certainly, you know, both. Here on Class Touch Monthly and at some in person events. We've seen some crazy stuff from Doge, too. So, I mean, this is. Certainly. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, good, it's a good battle in that regard, I would say, that we've got going on here. 
But of course, right now it is Doge with the lead, both in the game and in the set. He's got the one game lead and is at 508 here. 376 for smooth motion. As we are about to transition to about 15 lines. So Doe's just going to keep up the pressure here. Although that long bar coming a piece too late. It gets another one, gets the score. 55 to 448, smooth about to transition. But both players with one line to go till transition. Smooth not going to get the long bar. Doge will. So 474 for Smooth after that Tetris, after 19. 603 for Doge. So Smooth with a much better board this time going into the 19 plus, but is certainly going to have quite the catch up effort on their hands. Although Doge right now with a messy board. So this is a smooth chance to start closing the gap. And they are definitely taking advantage here right now. They've got a beautifully clean board. Bang Tetris for Smooth. Meanwhile, Doge is up very high. Oh, gets over, over the left. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at him go. I mean, this is just a classic Doge right here. Doge, nice dirty touches of his own. He saw that comment. He's like, oh, you thought Smooth had a good one? Well, check this out. <laughs> Tank Tetris 679, but Smooth has closed the gap. He's at 638. They are closing in without question. This Doge now is in another situation. All right, that long bar going to help for some relief. But actually, Smooth here has taken the lead, and Doge's in trouble. Like, actually in trouble. And he's going to top out at 689. And smooth motion at 725. Gonna tie this one up one to one. Yeah, certainly an uncharacteristic top out there, but we all know he'll shake this one off. Oh, look at this. Look at Smooth go here. <laughs> Dirty Tetris. Oh, my word. It's going super aggressive, but 826, the top out score for Smooth. <laughs> Going for lowest transition max. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Of course, you could probably Evo Doge right now. The, the king. Oh no, he <laughs> changed it back. Fix the camera. So the the king really Evo in full effect there. <laughs> oh goodness! All right, smooth is ready to go. <laughs> Once we have him from Doge as well, we'll continue. <laughs> All right, they're ready to go. Let's count them down. Game number three. We're tied 1-1. One, one. We begin in three, two, one. Tetris. <laughs> Stuck RDF. Uh, no, I mean, seriously, like, you guys ever see the king? The king really, Evo? I mean, seriously, it looked identical. <laughs> so good. Just the lead, right? The way the the head leans and everything. Like, it, oh my god! <laughs> All right, touch the Doge here to start. Both are on the board with two now. Yeah, Smooth's getting a nice little T spin tuck there on the right. Yeah, I mean, and game number two, I mean, you saw, like, 
Smooth played exactly the way they needed to in game one. I mean, maybe not so much on the 18. 18 was certainly a bit more of a struggle, but I mean, the 19, I mean, they did exactly what they needed to do. They got the board set up, you know, kept it low going into it, and were able to chase down the score of Doge. So, although game three here looking a little bit more rough, this board is up high again, but... I don't know Smooth survived some crazy things all day long to even get to this point. Oh my goodness. They're just filling in the sides. So no matter what they get, it'll at least burn something. And there we go. That right side's reopened for business. And there's the long bar. There's the Tetris. They're going to take the lead as well with another one there. 150 to 149 with a dirty one from Doge. So yeah, well, I was watching Smooth try and get out of that situation. Doge was in one as well, and actually is still not quite out of the woods here. Ooh, nice vaults here. These just are just barely getting over. I mean, Doge like actually just pushing the limits of what is possible here, man. This is crazy. And there's one more, there's the score, 187, backed by about a half a Tetris. So we got a simul one here. Oh, look at that, two clean boards after all the digging. We are nice and clean, simul Tetris again. Coach just doing this to feel alive, and there you go, there he is, confirming in chat, while he's playing. <laughs> oh goodness, that is for smooth, 318 to 301. Of course, Aurora is here, welcome. Of course, Meow back. Of course, we got. <laughs> yeah, we got Rhubarb here with the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is uh, quite the comment, yeah. <laughs> Pro Tetris in 1926. Yeah. Look at this. Alright, we got transitions coming up here at about 30 lines. Doge with an awkward right side. He's at 419 here. Smooth has actually opened up a bit of a lead here by about a Tetris and some change. We'll get another Tetris there. Go to 479. Doge, 421. We're at a similar line count here, so that's not really playing a huge factor in our score here in this one. And look at that dirty Tetris for Doge. And you see, could have put that J piece to reopen the to reopen that well on the right side but he knew better he knew better that he knew that would not be good for the boards the board parity there All right it was always thought it is better to put a two wide piece into two wide rather than a three wide of course six four is here with a raid party of eight presumably doing something with his invitational tournament so welcome welcome aboard oh you guys are all just in time this thrilling game three, All right? Gotta have some alliteration there. As we are about to transition, it is one to one. As Smooth has gotten there, 559. Doge with one Tetris available. Before we transition, will be behind. Oh, the Smooth is up high. Oh, Smooth, Smooth is in trouble. And Smooth is going to top out at 562. Did not get what they needed. So Doge with a small chase down here needs 563. To take this one. So one Tetris will do it. 
And there it is, Bang Tetris. And Doge will take the 2-1 lead. Ah, it was TNP at the Invitational Tournament. Alright, we have a ready from Smooth. Yeah, of course, staying slow here with the maths. The math. I don't think that's quite what, uh, I don't think that's quite what he meant, but, you know. He might have, right? He might have meant that, yeah. Alright, and we have a ready here from Doge. So let's go ahead, count these folks down here. For game number four, we start this one in three, two, one, Tetris. All right, so smooth motion on the ropes here. It is game point here for Doge. So he wins this, he becomes our semi-finalist. Smooth wins this, and we go to a game five. The fog is coming. Yeah, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Well, I guess if it's fog, maybe there's more places to hide, right? But certainly nowhere to run. Of course, some nice clean boards here as we begin. And winner of this will be moving on to face the winner of our red bracket here at Future Circuit, which will be taking place this Saturday. I believe that is at 2 p.m. Eastern. Let me double check. I should remember because I'm the one who scheduled this, but I, alas, cannot. But it is at 2 p.m. Eastern. Yes, it is at 2 p.m. Eastern. 6 p.m. UTC, so of course, if you're around, come check that out. It will not be hosted by yours, surely. I will be away for the weekend, but... But of course, the winner of that will take on the winner of this very matchup. We got some digs going on on both sides. Smooth with a slight lead, 167 to 125. The Doge and the Tetris go to 148, and another to take a slight lead. So we're pretty neck and neck here now, it's a similar line count. This means had to take a few more burns. These last few lines, but Simul Tetris! And he's gonna keep this one close. All right, simul Tetris here for both players. Again, we got some nice clean boards now. Again, we, they've done a pretty good job. I mean, seriously, both players here have really shown that they have been able to survive just about anything. I mean, that's you know, that's like some master's level stuff right there. Of course, not Zempro letting everyone know. They just beat their PB by 100k. Look at that. That is good stuff. So now we all gotta know, what's the new PB? Let's hear it. Obviously it's at least 100k. And of course, Doge, during the game, which you can GG, I'm like, hold on, was that a top out or was that, okay. <laughs> was that a spoiler? And of course, while, wished, while uh, congratulating Zempro, Doge did make a slight miss drop of an L piece on the left side. He's gonna, well, it's not going to kill him, but it's going to cost him pace, that's for sure. 
It's all smiles though, no worries. And oh, look at that, 733 was the score, okay. That was it, because I didn't actually know what it was before, so that's... That's awesome, seriously, that's awesome. Love it. That was... Yeah, it's... It's not easy. At least when, you know, especially when you start now, right? Like, it's not easy. But, what is easy for me, yet I don't do probably quite enough, is give a score check, right? That's part of my job description here. 3d9 is the score for Doge. 431 is the score for Smooth. Add a touch for Doge, go to 412. So transition is coming up, about 30 lines to go. for both of our players. Bang Tetris Doge. Right now, Smooth getting up. A little high, okay, that L gonna help on the right side. There's one bar, there's a Tetris for Smooth, okay. All is well there, no pun intended. So again, got two players keeping it nice and clean. We are approaching that 19 speed. We're going to see that rapid increase in speed. Of course, both players certainly are going to want to be keeping this board pretty low. I mean, even, you know, even for our rollers, right? Like... Even for the rollers, it is important because, I mean, Doge, I mean, one missed out. That could have been game over right there, that situation he was just in. Same thing for Smooth. All right, 560 for Smooth. 581 for Doge. We are up and running. Doge looking to close this out. Smooth looking to take us to a decider here. Let's see how this goes. All right, Bang Tetris, 617, 633 for Doge. In order to maintain this lead, he is behind in lines. All right, just a few here. Looks like Smooth maybe going for a left well here, level 21. Waiting on a bar. There's the one bar. There's the Tetris down the left. There's a couple dependencies here. And then we get this all resolved. Doge, meanwhile, with a dig of his own happening here, level 31. Could use a J, but guess what? Not coming. So I have to find an alternate burn sequence here. And Doge's right side is really heavily blocked off at the moment. So this is Smooth's chance to maybe open up a lead here. You know, 23, 728, 703 for Doge. So about a one Tetris difference. Add a Tetris for Smooth to expand on that. I mean, Doge right now is just... I mean, it's, it's impressive. It will never not be impressive to me to see all these crazy digs. Oh my goodness, like... The sheer speed and it's not gonna be enough for Doge. He tops out at 713 that was just struggling up high for so long and just the game did not give him what he needed, was not able to get out. And Smooth is gonna tie this up and we have a decider. There it is, you got the emote. Now's the time to get it out. You may watch Smooth finish this out here. All right, there it is. Max out from Smooth. See what they can do here. They are only on level 27, so certainly could threaten a 1.1 or more here. Though. So, Kill screen is coming up, but bang Tetris. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, just trying to set this up. Beasts are not coming, but I'm X out for smooth. Is gonna give them game number four and will allow them to tie it up as we go to game five. Oh, just so arrogant. <laughs> oh, goodness. Imagine. All right, but he is ready to go. And we have a ready from Smooth as well. Let's count these folks down here. Getting for five. We're gonna, you know what? We're going to count it down from five. We begin in five, four, three, two, one. Tetris. All right, final game of this afternoon here, or morning, evening, whatever time it is for you. But we're going to say afternoon because that's what it is for me. So, like late afternoon. So smooth with a couple of complications here to start out. Certainly not the start they wanted, but as we've seen all set, I mean. As we've seen, they can certainly survive this. Without too much trouble. But this piece is not super helpful. Wait, my. Hey, now this friggin' bar, it's just not coming at the right times. There's one again, but not when it was helpful. Now they need two here. There's one for a Tetris down the middle. And uh, there's one for that left side. All right, smooth with clean board. Bang Tetris. 81,000 here for smooth. 77 for Doge. Doge about five lines back, though. And, of course, Tourist. And Isabel's dad at basically opposite times. But you all know, the tourist is already in bed. Isabel's dad probably just waking up, getting some coffee, right? Or I don't know. I guess, I guess you don't necessarily drink coffee, right? Starting the day, right? And why not start today, right? With some CTM. That's always fun. It's always good. It's certainly better than how my days typically start, right? Depending on the day, I guess. Hopefully, I, I do hope that people out there are not like me when it comes to attempting to wake up in the morning. Um, <laughs> But either way, team score 189 here for Smooth. They are at 60 lines, 262 for Doge. Again, an account of some of this burning here and pushing down a little bit from Smooth. They are ahead in lines. We have reached about the halfway marker here of this 18 portion of play. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Tetris, bro. And also, you know, my mind's an enigma. It's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> but we are watching columns, to, technically, to some degree, right? <laughs> there are columns, right? There are ten columns, to be exact. As Smooth gets a nice little line tuck there towards the middle of the board. Not a line spin, but... Had there been a little more garbage, could have been one. I'm sure Vandy would have been all over that. But now both players in a bit of a dig. 
Oh, Doge! Doge is in trouble! And just like that, he has topped out 359! What in the world? I look over, that board just got in trouble so much quicker than I think anyone expected. Oh my word, so 352 was the final score. So there you go, smooth. You need 353 to move on to our top four. Or, er, excuse me, 360. 360, excuse me. Thank you, Pumpy, for correcting me. I don't know what I said, but I certainly did not say the right number. Um, so this is not over yet. Chase down still has to happen. All right, bang Tetris, 342. One more will do it here. It's 360. So let us see. I mean, they got six lines to go for the transition. So certainly a couple lines to give here. Would love to get it done before 19. This bar's not coming here. He's 5,000 more points. He's gonna have to do it on 19, because guess what? This bar ain't coming. There it is, finally, bang Tetris! And Smooth Motion is gonna complete the upset and move on to the next round. And they're just elated, just so stoked. You can just see it right there. Oh my word. Wow, what a turn of events right there. I do not think Smooth was expecting that. But are certainly amped up. What's that? A bracket winner. There you go. There they are. Smooth Motion earning the free 40 characters on trophies. Of course, excellent games played all around from everyone here today. All right, this has been really fun. This has been good. Hey everybody, this is your old pal Van Dweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.